And meniscus injuries are probably one of the most injured part of the knee. What they are basically are two pieces of cushions that stay between the two bones, your shin bone and your uh, thigh bone, and they act like shock absorbers. Um, there's one on the inside called the medial, and one on the outside part of the knee called the lateral. Majority of the time it's an acute injury. Uh, you'll be walking and you turn and you twist and what happens is that meniscus can get pinched between the bones and cause a, a tear in it. Uh, as we get older, a lot of times it's more of a, what we call a degenerative tear. Uh, as we walk, the, it starts wearing down and over time you start developing tears. The first is the acute tear. When that happens, that meniscus gets pinched and what will happen is you'll start having sharp stabbing pain. If you're walking straight ahead, it doesn't bother you, but as soon as you turn, you feel the sharp stabbing pain. The other is the more of a degenerative tear, something that happens over time. As you start developing arthritis in the knee, the meniscus also wear and tear. And what people will notice was it will be swelling and uh, just achy type pain. If the tear is big enough, you can have uh, locking sensations where it feels like something is caught and you have to kind of kick your leg to, to be able to straighten it. Also popping, if you squat down and you try to stand up, that meniscus can get trapped and it will pop when it goes back into place. Because it swells up, your knee might feel unstable where it feels like it wants to give out and you're about to fall uh, when you get up and walk. First, you go uh, see your physician, and a lot of times they can tell from a history of uh, what happened to you if, if there's a meniscus tear or not. And then from physical exam, a lot of times what they'll notice is some swelling in the knee. Uh, sometimes you can't bend or straighten your knee all the way uh, like you were before. Uh, also, one of the biggest signs is, is uh, pushing on the joint spaces in your knee. If you're very tender when, you get, when we push on it, then that usually signifies a, a meniscus tear. Most of the time, we'll get an x-ray when you come to the office and that will to help us determine if you've got arthritis in the knee. If you've got arthritis in the knee then we know it's probably a degenerative type tear. If you don't have a lot of arthritis it usually means that yeah it's an acute where you twisted and something happened. The only way to really definitely diagnose the meniscus tear is an MRI. Uh, the MRI will show the ligaments and the tendons so we can see the meniscus uh, with an MRI. There's a couple of things they can do to make their knee feel better and rest icing it, starting to take some anti-inflammatories like Aleve, Ibuprofen, and Motrin. If it's a small tear, sometimes we can do a cortisone shot to get the swelling in the knee down and then do some therapy and a lot of the times that goes away. Um, but if it's a, any kind of a big tear or if you're young and an acute tear, then surgery is really the only way to treat it. The recovery time kind of varies. If you go in there and just have a knee scope where we do a partial meniscectomy, which means we remove the torn part, you're able to walk right away, usually a couple of days on our crutches, and within two to six weeks, you're back to being normal. Now, if we have to do surgery to repair the meniscus, uh, then a lot of times we don't let you put weight on that knee for four to six weeks, and it's really about a three to four month process of uh, before you get back to doing sports and your normal activities. It's something that's very hard to prevent. It's usually, once again, acute injury. You twist, you turn, you fall, or something like that. But um, keeping your knee strong overall can help prevent some of those. So uh, weight loss, exercising, especially doing quad and hamstring strengthening to keep the muscles around your knee strong can help prevent some of the um, wear and tear issues of your knee.